Welcome to part two of the 21 most common interview questions with some quick answers. If you missed part one, you can either go watch that first with the link above or check it out at the end of this video. Hello world, it's Rico. And without further ado, let's get back into that list. Number 11, describe yourself in three words. I would answer this as authentically as possible. Pick three positive things that describe who you are relative to what you do. Don't get too abstract here. Check out this example. I would describe myself as passionate, empathetic, and data informed. I'm passionate about what I do and that's why I'm excited about this role and the work I'll get to do. I'm empathetic and that helps me be a great collaborator and teammate. I'm data informed so that I know that the decisions I am making are informed and backed by data. I learned to use my gut, but also wanna be sure I'm following the data. Number 12, what's been your greatest achievement? This is one of the questions I actually do like, and it's because it gives me an idea on how and what candidates take pride in. Give a real example and let your personality shine through. Here's an example. My greatest achievement was designing a new feature that made the customer experience as simple and easy as possible. By conducting user research and putting myself in the user's shoes, I was able to come up with a more elegant design solution that not only made customers' lives easier, it converted at a higher rate, increasing our bottom line. Number 13, what do you do outside of work? Or they may say, what are your hobbies and interests? They want to see what you're like outside of the office. This can tell a lot about a person's work habits and overall approach to life. That definitely bleeds into the workplace. Here's a quick answer. When I'm not working, I like to exercise my body and my creative muscles. I love being outdoors and keeping active. It helps me refresh myself and it gives me time to unplug. I also like to paint and draw because it helps me refine my creativity, but also unlocks new perspectives in my design work. Lastly, I'm a constant student and I like to either read or take short classes to help build my skills. I think life is about experiencing and learning as much as you can, and that's how I approach it. Number 14, what can you do for us that other candidates can't? Be careful here. You don't ever want to sound like you're putting other people down, whether they're people you know or don't know. Here's how you can answer this question. I've been following your company for a while. I'm not only a fan, but I'm a customer. That paired with a skill set unique to me, I feel that I can quickly and effectively create impact here. I bring passion, collaboration, and data with me and my unique skill set. I can also bring a perspective that is inherently different than the perspectives you have now, and that will help the team think about creative solutions in a different way. I love debating and asking the tough questions that encourages not only myself, but those around me to do their best work. Number 15, why do you want to work for us? This one should be pretty easy if you really like the company and you did your homework. You definitely want to do your homework. This is where you can flex about how much you know about the company, team, and even the interviewer. Make sure you look up your full panel on LinkedIn. Here's how you can answer. I really believe in the direction and value the company brings to the world. The company has a strong set of values and a culture that I can thrive in. I can not only contribute to the continued success of the company, perhaps push us even farther. I'd love to see how far we can take it and this is where I want to do it. 16. How would you deal with a difficult customer or partner? This one is similar to the conflict question from part one, so make sure you stay consistent. Here's how you can answer this one. I truly believe that one of our biggest assets and our competitive advantage is our customer base. The fact that they openly give us feedback and help us get better is important. That is why I would listen to what the customer has to say. Sometimes listening and truly hearing them is enough. They just wanna be heard and valued. I would then ask curious questions to understand what we can do to either solve their challenge or to better understand what the next steps will be. I would then work with that customer or partner to resolve any issues and to make sure that the engagement goes as smoothly as possible. I would get the job done without compromising the integrity of our business. 17, tell me about a time when you failed. This is another question I really like from this list. Like I mentioned in part one, these are the most common, but I wouldn't say that these are the best if you're new to conducting interviews. I have some other videos you can check out that have questions I think go one level deeper. This question shows your character and integrity. Here's how you can answer the failure question. I was working on a feature with a product manager and engineering team. We hit some roadblocks and we didn't get to complete the project in time. At the end, we had to scrap it because it wasn't going to hit the intended target on time. But we didn't just want to move on. We wanted to learn from this experience, so we held a post-mortem to understand where we could have course corrected and where we could have made some mistakes. I admit that I could have been more clear in writing my design spec. We all owned our pieces of the failure. What made it worth it was that we implemented a new checkpoint process that allowed us to identify these inflection points to see if we need to course correct and to ensure we were still on track. This answer shows that you can be vulnerable and admit your mistakes, but also that you can learn from them so they aren't repeated. 18. Why do you want to leave your current job now? Be sure to give a nice and concise answer here. Remember never to throw anyone under the bus 
However, even if you really dislike your current company, going negative is always a bad look. Here's how you can answer this question. I'm leaving my current job because I want to take on new challenges and grow my skills as much as possible. Not many opportunities would push me to leave my current role, but the innovative approach and the company culture you offer here gets me excited. I love the direction, the industry, and the people I've met so far. 19. Why should we hire you? You've probably heard this before. This is almost like the final pitch for yourself. I'm not a fan of this question because it doesn't really give the interviewer any new information. It's pretty much a summary of the full interview. If you're conducting the interview, please don't ask this question. Please ask a more insightful one. Here's how you answer it. Here's how you can answer it knowing you'll probably get asked this question. I'm a great fit for what you're doing, not only from a technical standpoint, but also from a company culture perspective. I solve big challenges using the resources available to me and I do it in a very collaborative way. I take my own growth and development into my own hands, and if I come to you with a problem, I'll have two solutions ready to go. I love to stay positive and to inspire everyone around me to do their best work. I seek to understand in all situations, and I never let conflict go unresolved. I'm passionate, empathetic, data-informed, and all of those things have led me to success so far, and I intend to continue to build on that success. It's okay to toot your own horn a bit here. Show that you're confident in your skills, but not arrogant. 20. What did you dislike about your previous job? Remember what I said about never going negative? This is a trap question. Don't take this as an invitation to badmouth your current or any former employers. It's meant to see if you take the bait, so don't do it. Be graceful, be humble. Here's how you can answer this one. The thing I wish could have been better at my previous job was our ability to be nimble and move faster. I really enjoy iterating quickly, learning and then adjusting. It helps businesses grow and create impact much faster. There were many opportunities in my last job to do this, but we didn't necessarily have the right framework and processes in place to do it or even to build this system. 21. Do you have any questions for us? I have a whole video just about this that you can watch. This for me is half the interview. Make sure you ask great insightful questions. Never, and I do mean never, say you don't have any questions. That tells the interviewer either that you don't care as much or you probably aren't a good fit. That's because if you cared enough to do research, there are tons of questions you can ask. Also, if you're technically strong, you could have questions about workflow or the current business challenges. Make sure to go back and watch my video on this. But here's a good place to start. One, what is the current challenge you're facing today and how do you envision this role helping in that space? Two, where would you expect this role to have impact in the first 30 to 60 days? And number three, you've been here for two years, what's been the most pleasant surprise and what has been the biggest challenge in your time here? These questions are meant to answer what you'll have to tackle on day one and also what the culture of the company is really like. Many companies talk a great game, but getting first-hand knowledge is the best way to truly evaluate it. There you have it, the 21 most commonly asked interview questions. Keep in mind, these are very general and they may vary depending on the role you're interviewing for. If I'm the one interviewing, I tend to ask different questions to get to a person's leadership qualities and to understand more about cultural values and fit. One thing I also want you to keep in mind, you are interviewing them just as much as they are interviewing you. If you hear something you don't like, dig into it, ask about it. You don't wanna leave one job you dislike just to find a worse one. Be sure the company fits what you're looking for and that will help you achieve your goals. If not, run for the hills. If you'd like to learn more about the questions I ask, check out the video here. Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn so we can keep the conversation going. I will see you next time.